For all the latest from the world of motoring, hit that subscribe button and stay connected. The Suzuki Jigsa, when it came out in 2014, made everybody stand up and take notice. This new Suzuki went on to become one of the best 150cc segment motorcycles. Suzuki has now given it a big refresh and let's check out if this updated version still has what it takes to dominate the 150cc segment. The obvious change is the visual one, it now looks a lot similar to its elder 250cc sibling. Although dimension-wise, the two are quite easy to visually differentiate, the design is surely quite similar. Apart from the design upgrade, also new is the fuel injection system. With the addition of the FI system, there's a slight drop in part, but riding it, you really do not feel the difference. It still has a strong mid-range, and once you're on the go, it feels great in the 3K to 8K RPM range, making it ideal for fun city riding. One thing that you will miss is the lively nature of the previous version. The older carb version felt a bit more peppy off the line. It's definitely not bad and apparent only if you ride both the bikes back to back. The new version though has a much better exhaust note. It sounds louder and sportier than before and makes riding the Jigsa a whole lot more involving. Refinement levels are definitely better than the previous version and feels much more composed at higher revs. The fuel injection has also resulted in better mileage figures of 48 km to the litre. With the seat height of 795mm, riders of all heights will be comfortable on it. And also contributing to this is the relaxed rider triangle allowing for comfortable urban usage. Handling wise, it still remains the light and easy bike like its previous version. Front feels light and agile and even with the pillion things are easy to control. Apart from being competent for the regular commute, this new Jigsa loves to be thrown around. It handles those twisty roads with ease, feels natural and being light makes it not at all stressful. The braking department too is good and is backed up by a single channel ABS system. Disc brakes are standard at both ends. In typical Suzuki style, the build quality is top notch and the instrument meter up front is quite informative and continues to have the gear indicator and the clock. The LED headlights are quite functional and it did have a good amount of throw. The one thing that we think should have been different are the suspensions. The great handling does come at a cost. These suspensions are on the stiffer side. For a city bike, we really felt at least a softer front suspension would have made much more sense. Overall, the Suzuki Jigsa still remains one of the best 150cc segment motorcycles out there. It is well made, light and fun to ride. So if you are in the market for a daily use machine that is stylish and does not break the bank and at the same time will not bore you after a few months, the Suzuki Jigsa is surely one machine that you should consider.